Hey everybody, happy holidays. If you live somewhere like me where it's cold as can be, get yourself a warm cup of coffee or tea as we dive once again into peptides used for weight loss. Today, speaking about a unique peptide, a new one that I'm sure within a year will have a jingle as catchy as O-O-O Ozempic. But first, I'll share what I'm thankful for this holiday season, and it's you. Um, As you should know by now, peptides are some of the most fascinating compounds in the world to me, and our discussions and conversations about them have been, quite frankly, a ton of fun, and I'm grateful to be making these videos. And so if you like watching them, one one hundredth of as much as I enjoy making them, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe if you will, as it's the only way to support the channel. So thank you very much. So the peptide in question here today is retatrotide or retatrutide. Um, I don't really think it matters how you pronounce it, and I don't think the peptide itself takes personal offense. Um, so just like terzepatide is semaglutide with a twist, retatrotide is essentially souped-up terzepatide, a unique triple receptor agonist. What does that mean? Let's dive in. So as usual, we'd be remiss to discuss new peptides without background. So... Retatrotide was developed by Eli Lilly and Company, a very popular pharmaceutical producer, um, also involved in the production of Trulicity or Dulaglutide, a GLP-1 agonist, as well as Munjaro um, or Terzepatide, which we just discussed. It's a GLP-1 and GIP agonist. So what we've seen over the past year is that these, you know, quote-unquote weight loss drugs Uh, GLP-1 agonists like semaglutide marketed as Wegovi, Ozempic, Rebelsis have really taken the world by storm. Everyone's talking about them. Everyone's using them. Um, It's essentially become a meme. So what's pretty interesting is that essentially the pharmaceutical industry is using this GLP-1 agonism, this design as a backbone for which to build other complementary components upon it. For instance, Munjaro does not only agonize GLP-1, but it also agonizes GIP. And we'll discuss what all of these components do in a little bit. However, this past summer, phase 2 data with regards to retatrotide was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. And it's pretty interesting because it shows that at 24 weeks, there's a mean weight reduction of about 17.5%. That increased at about 48 weeks with this mean weight reduction of about 24.2%. So in similar studies, semaglutide has shown weight reduction of 14.9% over 68 weeks. Terzepatide has shown 21.4% weight reduction in 52 weeks. So preliminarily, at least, with regards to weight loss numbers, retatrotide looks pretty darn good. Definitely swats away semaglutide and even is shown to be a little bit more effective preliminarily than terzepatide. Okay, so what's different between these three different categories of peptides that are essentially very similar? Uh, Semaglutide's your pure GLP-1 agonist. GLP-1 is glucagon-like peptide 1. Terzepatide additionally has this component GIP, which stands for glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. And finally, on top of those two, retatrotide also agonizes glucagon receptors. Yes, these images are a bit exaggerative, but we can picture semaglutide like a cute little house, terzepatide into the you know, McMansion category, and then retatrotide presumably is a full-out castle. Will that be the case? Let's give it time and see. So now the fun part, and that is, what in the world does any of this mean? Let's just discuss GLP-1 agonism, which we've done before. Semaglutide. Glucagon-like peptide 1 stimulates insulin secretion. It inhibits glucagon release, slows gastric emptying, thereby creating an environment favorable of increased blood sugar control as well as decreased appetite. Now on top of that, terzepatide or Monjaro also has this component of agonizing glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide receptors, which is essentially theorized to be very synergistic or in positive combination with GLP-1 in controlling 
glucose, and blood sugar control. And on top of that, it has the added benefit of more adequately regulating triglycerides by improving triglyceride clearance. And now ritatratide does these two other things with the cherry on top in regards to its novelty in that it encourages stimulation of glucagon receptors. And what does this mean? I'll proceed this with the caveat that I think there are plenty of people raving about the compounds. However, upon my review of the research, it seems like much of how this is going to work um, and what it does is kind of up in the air at this point. The significance of agonizing glucagon receptors, at least in my research, has been pretty underwhelming. Um, it's theorized that it increases energy efficiency via intake and expenditure improvements, and there might also be a role in protection of the liver. And, you know, of course, that's important given the fact that a lot of obese individuals can be suffering from fatty liver disease as well. And this is one of the peptides that I can say will be further researched and that we will likely have more answers along the way. There is a ton of financial incentive to keep investigating retatratide, which is pretty cool, and I look forward to it. And like all other GLP-1 agonists, it seems like the side effects are probably most likely gastrointestinal in nature. Um, the American Diabetes Association announces that ritatratide has a safety profile similar to that of the other incretin-based therapies, which is just like these GLP-1s and GLP, GIPs, um, and there's going to be more on ritatratide coming soon. Like I just said, the financial incentive is crazy. Like, Ozempic's got a theme song now. What's this mean for the world of weight loss and diabetes improvement-based peptides? So, all in all, thanks for watching. As always, video is a ton of fun to make. I hope you have a happy, healthy new year. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to reach out, type in the comments, shoot me an email. What do you want to see from the channel in 2024? Videos, topics, ideas, feel free. Please like and subscribe as well. Thank you all. Take care.